up in the high end of this um, strong site. Just played a few games earlier today. Um, I think I might have played too much, but we'll see. Just have a little play around. Let's push in the centre here. Just keep everything as simple as possible until such time as we see some magic and then we just have to sit and cry. So we'll grab just as we do usually. And obviously they're wanting to us to take the pawn here. Well, the knight anyway. I feel like bringing the bishop here, but maybe it's safer just bringing the bishop here so that it's protecting. Okay, I'm going to bring it here for now. Always ready to bring it back. Knight's going to be attacking. Oh, he's not. Okay, right, fair enough. Let's just take them. And this position presents itself with a castle in. Um, let's just focus on trying to get our pieces protecting our king area, giving the king some company, if we can. So first piece, getting it over. It's attacking the pawn. So let's get the knight up, defending the pawn. And he's looking at attacking this area as well. Can we get the queen in there? Do we take? Do we just push the pawn on? I feel like if I bring the rook here, then he's got a power base to attack the pawn. Okay, I'm going to go with it anyway. I think they might just move the knight and we can take. Let's see how it transpires. Yeah, so some nice games earlier on, but obviously I might be over-egging it now. I might start flagging a little bit. So they've pushed the pawn, blocking the pawn from pushing onto the knight. So do we win a bit of tempo by actually being able to give our king some company coming across? Because the rook is protecting the pawn now. So get the knight across, protecting. It's probably going to hit the bishop. Get the bishop back and around, but then this diagonal is kind of blocked, so it's a bit choking of our own dark square bishop. But at the same time, all his pieces are coming towards our king area, so all the pawns are blocking all their access. Mm. Could hit the pawn here takes bishop takes but then the bishop doesn't have any protection or do we just go with what we said which was bringing the knight across giving the king some company we do know that this pawn is going to hit do we take then they take just feels a little bit stronger for them doesn't it our knights their queen's there but I suppose the queen can get into the game no, it can't because the knight's blocking. Ooh, that's the tricky situation, isn't it? So if we did take Bishop Tuck, then the Queen could get to give the King some company. Okay, I'm going to go with that because I feel like we're going to get strangled already. And if I can take one of the pieces that potentially could get the strangulation going off, and it's a dark square bishop and all the pawns are on dark squares at the moment. So looking to be opposite the king, be a bit of an annoyance. And then maybe get the knight across here. Small plan, it might not work, but it's the idea from our experience. Don't want to keep the king home alone. Get the queen across like we said, don't need to um, do any extra calculations there. Do have a little spot here for a check on the king. It's nothing major. It's just little things to give them things to think about if we were pressed. So what is the knight looking to potentially do? Looking to potentially come here, maybe get the queen here and touch there. That's probably not going to happen in this lifetime because he does have the bishop protecting the area. So looking at the other side of the board, so we're not negating the other side of the board. They have the potential attacks attacking the pawn here. Queen's come down 
basically protecting this square so that it, we don't get any checks on the king, which is fine. We did say we're going to bring our knight across. Does lock in our queen a little bit. Still don't have any issues with that. Got the pawns, pawns, knight up. Could hit the palm. It's not going to take though, so could go here. It's something, isn't it? I think I'm going to hit the palm. Let's see how that looks. It's the force going towards the king area, gives them things to think about. Problem we've got is now that I've just done the move. We're going to take, and then the bishop's got this pawn here. So I might have done that a little bit too eagerly. But if but some maybes. Knight up, it's not doing much there. Knight up. Just push the pawn up. Then he just defends the pawn. So we've lost the pawn for no reason. But he's not going to bring the bishop there, is he? Probably bring the bishop here, protecting the pawn. Or if we take and they greedy munch, obviously they're going to take. His rook is going to be on our queen. So we have to move the queen and he's also on our rook. We're going to have to reframe this one. And we've created a space in front of their queen let's let's say that we've lost the pawn we have to reevaluate now the position but it may have won it may have won us a tempo you never know it may have won us a tempo to get towards their king gary got the rook opposite the queen that might be a plus yeah, so I probably played too many games today. <laughs> Although I did do a few moves like these in those games as well. So I'm not going to beat myself up just yet. Yep, so the bishop's coming to protect. And it's come that way as well. So we said we're going to bring the knight here and attack. I thought they probably would have gone here. So we're attacking the bishop. Giving them something to think about. They're probably just going to say, well, it's a bad bishop. You're going to, give, you're going to be taking it with a good knight. And we're plus one now as well. So I think they will allow the um, bishop to be taken. They may even push down to see if they're winning some sort of tempe or something. But I believe the rook is going to come and attack this pawn. Because if the knight takes then at some point we do have a bit of time maybe to actually attack the rook. But I don't know what they're going to do. So we, we started that process, we initiated that, um, oh, we're going to take. We initiated all of this activity, hopefully for a better position. So I believe the pawn's taken, but if the queen takes, queen takes. I don't think the queen's happy being opposite the rook. So I think the pawn will take. So it gives us a little bit of um, space here for the rook to actually attack the queen, but I think the rook will come and look to take it off the board and own the file. So I'm going to bring the rook across. It'd be nice if they didn't, but the rook is coming here. So we take, take. We can bring this rook here with the support of the queen attacking the queen. If the queen moves out of the way, we can bring the rook up and attack or Oh, no, not that rook. I didn't even have that one in my sights. So he's going to bring his pawns back in line. All right, okay. If we take, we don't have to take. Is there any way of attacking anything? This rook doesn't have any defense on, but I can't get to it. Can't attack their queen because I don't have any support. Could sit here with the queen. I don't know what it's doing there though. Could attack the pawn. 
but that's going to give too much space in front and the rook could come here and put a check on the queen x-raying through to the king so what do we have we have we can't push this up here to get support because that pawn's there what's going to happen if we do take it brings the pawns back in line Don't think I'm a fan of taking, really. I think we're going to have to sit. But then if we do sit, then it brings this rook here. Mm. Brings that rook there. We have probably bring the queen back in again. So the plus one that they've got, it's doubled. So I class it as it's not really a, an extra pawn they've got until it then comes back into line. Do we just bring the queen here? They know they're going to double. And we just have to sit and wait for them to overextend. Yeah. Let's just bring the queen here. And just go with the fact that they're plus one, but it's doubled. So hopefully maybe we can class that as well. We're still equal. So yeah, tricky situation. Like I said right at the very beginning, I probably shouldn't have come back on because I played about was it was it four games? Is it four or four? Yeah, four games, and they were really good. Uh, there were a few blobs in there as well, especially on the last one. Um, I think I was flagging totally, but um, yeah, we got a decent position. We made an error. They could have actually got our queen off the board because they could have fought us with their knight fought the king and the promoted queen but they missed it because they were running out on running out of time but it's nice to practice so they're thinking about it but i think this is okay so um not gone for that <laughs> You know, maybe I should have brought my queen here and then I could have elevated and then gone here. I think I'm too far behind the times now because his rook's supporting this pawn. Pawn's going to push down, open up the space in front of the king. So that's what they're probably looking at doing. Damn, yeah. So I could move it here with the support of the queen. So I could move it there. Are we going to be fast enough though? Because... This pawn's probably jumping down. Double. Hits the queen. No, it's not going to hit the queen because we can take. So I think if we just bring the rook here and see what happens. Hoping they've lost a bit of tempo maybe because they could have brought the rook here. I'm still not clear on this. And it's probably something really strong that I'm missing. Usually is the case when I'm not sure what it is that the opponent's doing, then suddenly out of the back, it's like, oh, that's what they're doing. I wonder if they take a draw. Do you think I could be cheeky enough to um, offer a draw? Let's see what happens. They might make a move already. No, they haven't. So I've offered the draw. No, oh, it's not playing. So I'm going to bring this here. What are they doing? Are they look doing a rook rover thing to come here or something? Attack here. And the queen comes here. Oh, maybe they're going across. Although they could have done that with that rook. And then bringing the queen here and attacking the pawn. I'm going with the doubling thing in the centre. I must have angered them by actually offering a draw. So they're saying, no, it's not. So they're going to finish me off now. So they've supported it in a different way rather than being on the back. So I won't have any more draw offers now, will I? Damn it. 
I'm not sure if it shows on the screen if they do offer a draw, because I'm in small screen mode. Let me scroll down again. Yeah, they declined it. <laughs> okay. Whether that's a good decision or not, I'm not sure. But our king is here, so maybe they're trying to do something and get the queen here, like we said, and attack in this area. But all they want is this pawn to be linked up again. So it's nothing worse than having all your energies focused on an area and all the while they've got a nice little plan of... Let, oh, they're taken. Do we take with the queen or the rook? Do you know, I think taking with the queen is probably better because then we can at least look to see if we can get their queen off the board. Are we going to be too late to the party? If we take... Yeah, and we have the potential for attacking their queen. Well, more so here, because it's got a check on the king. So there's potential. Oh, come on. I didn't see that. <laughs> we can come here. I don't need to lose any sleep over it. And if he does take, then... The plus side of it is that is that they've got doubled pawns. Yeah. So let's go here. But it doesn't mean it's winning because we like to play with double um, pawns ourselves. I still think he's probably not going to trade because he wants to bring these pawns back in line. And I'm not really wanting to take, am I? But it might be one of those where we go, okay, well, if it's going to be a draw, you might as well just bring the pawn back in line, just take the rook off the board and just play with the queens. I've got a little momentary check on the king, but that's about it. Because they're probably they're slightly higher than me in the rating thing. They probably are thinking, I'm not drawing this. I've got to win this. I don't want to lose points. I'm thinking, well, let's go for a draw, dude. Do you think I'm able to offer a draw again? Oh, I maybe can. Let's just offer it again. See if they want to. No, again, he's blobbed. So we could put a check on the king. But then he just drops here. And then take the rook. But maybe the queen takes this time because he's going to be on our. So if we take the rook, I do believe the pawn's taking. Put a check on the king. King just moves. But then he loses this pawn here. Is that right, isn't it? So maybe he takes with the queen. I'm going to take the rook. Smallest of potatoes if he takes with the pawn. Get the check, get the pawn. But I suppose he may come with his queen, I don't know. No, he won't come with the queen. We'll put the check on the king, and we could offer a draw now, even though we're going to win this pawn. It's the last time I'm offering the draw. And this time it looks like they're thinking about it. Doesn't mean they're going to be any good grabbing a pawn, you know, this munching thing. Got to be careful. He could still get some weight in somehow. If he decides to move his king, we take the pawn. Where's his queen going? 
This queen can come back down here, attack our pawn. So I'm looking for, I'm just looking for the draw. Ooh. That, that to me is a draw line, isn't it, really? But the thing is, if we take the pawn, like we said, then his queen takes our pawn. But then we can go here and attack the king. King has to go here. We're on a white square. We could touch it again. Queen's still down on the back. He could go up and down, but I think he'll try and hide, which was, and then we go here. And then he's just going to either drop here or go here. He'll probably stay off of a dark square, so he'll go there. Go there. So be on a white square. And my queen can't get to it. Okay, but I could just peel off some pawns. Whereas if I just take the queen off the board, it's more of a kind of a guarantee that it's going to be a draw, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. King, 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 pawn. He's got pawn majority on this side. We've got pawn majority on that side. What do we do? Come on now. Mantra, talk to me. Well, the mantra says exchange the queens if it's of benefit to yourself. And it is of benefit to us. Mm -hmm. Take, he takes, it's going to end up on that white square. We put the check on, he goes there. We don't need to put the check on, we could just take another pawn. He'll probably take another pawn, maybe may even put a check on our king first. Yeah, he'll drop here, put a check on the king first, then take the pawn. So he drops there, he's on the dark square. This one is still supported by this, so we can't take that. I don't think it works for us to the nth degree. So coming here, putting a check on, he just drops there. And we're currently here. If he drops there, we can then go here, check. Then he goes back again to here. But then we have no more checks then, do we? Ooh, okay. It looked a bit different, did that? Take, takes, tax, goes there, check, comes here. check he goes back but that's where we run out we run out of the damn checks oh no we don't because we just go back here sorry we go back here but this time his queen comes back and then we take and his king takes right okay i'm gonna give it a shot he might not do any of that and i may have totally messed it up let's take the palm It does take, let's go with that, put the check on, put the check on. He might bring the queen straight back now. No, he doesn't, so we'll go here. And on this, this time, this is when the queen comes back. Okay, so the queen comes back, do we take, or do we take this pawn? Something's telling me to take the pawn. But is that going to be right? He can't get to our king straight away. He's thinking about it. The queen's coming here. Take the pawn. His queen can't get to our king, but can do something else. What can it do? 
push this pawn. Pushes the pawn, staying in front of the king. We take. Does he dare come down and take? Probably does. He's getting in front of our king. Then we come back up and put checks on the king and have this position again going backwards and forwards. Potentially, I feel like it's going to be wrong, but also I feel like it might be right. I don't know if he's offered a draw or not. Can I see? Declined a draw? No, he's not offered anything. Queen comes. Be brave. Take the pawn. Where can it, where is this, I can only see this pawn pushing, just to make space to try and get to our king. Mmm, tested times. Because this, this is going against the character of my game. You know, if the queen is there to take, I'm going to take it off the ball. But I really want to try and practice the other side of the coin, which is not exchanging the queens. In this position, it looks like we can, we can grab more material, but still hopefully be able to put pressure on their king. It's the scary part about it, you know, and then it's one of those where then you lose and you go, oh, why didn't I just take the queen off the board? It, oh, okay. And he's gone for something different. So if we go here, then his queen definitely has to come back because his king can't go anywhere else. And then we are in the end game with the pawns. King pawn end games. We've got pawn majority here. It's just that he's got two rhino heads that can stop these moving up. Mm, I'm not too sure, you know. It's, it's, it's making me doubt the position really because he's got these all these pawns here. What does my king do? I'm trying to look at the king pattern. King kun comes up. Do I actually come this way just to get these pawns or do I make my way over there? So I go here, his king, queen definitely comes there. We take, his king takes. Start pushing the pawn up. King up, sorry, up here. But then does he block off and his king's better? Is his position better than ours? It just looks like it is. I don't think I'm taking the pawn because then he's going to come down and get our king, so... I'm going to go with this and when the queen comes here, I don't actually have to take. I can go here, put a check on the king and then move across and get the pawn counter. So I put a check on the king, the queen comes down protecting. Then we can take the pawn. His queen is jammed in by his own pawn, so he's not attacking any of our pieces. I'm going to put the check on. I'm trying, I, I really wanted to just take it off the ball, but I'm just thinking, I don't know, I don't like his pawn position. I'm going to take the pawn, and then if there's an exchange that we can get off, I'll take the queen off the board then. Am I too late to the party? I'm not too sure, because his king's still jammed in, we might be able to get another check in. He's going to, he's hiding. Damn it. He's going to bring it down here. I might be too late to the party, people. Damn it. Have I overrigged it? I think I've overrigged it. Oh, I'm not going to get any more exchanges of the king. We'll come here. Then he just goes there. I'm on a dark square. Well, I've not done it right, have I? Or oh, if I go. 
Oh mind you, I can't get the pawn, can I? Uh, damn it. No, I should have just exchanged the damn queen. Right, can we just start pushing this pawn up then? Yep. I'm going to start pushing this pawn up. It's the only one that's passed and uh, hopefully gives them something to think about. I suppose he's probably going to come across here, isn't he? Causing me some hassle. So I've had to change my tack now. No point changing the king. He's going to escape here. See if we can get this pushed as far as possible. Before these start coming in. I mean, this... I was just thinking he's got the queen there, but he's, this pawn is not there, so... He's going to try and do his own thing, pushing up, pushing down, pushing down. Oh, who wins? Who wins? He could even push this. And if we take... Oh, scary times. Has he not offered a draw? I don't... I cannot tell. It probably will show on the screen, won't it? Nope. 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 Well, maybe it's too far gone now. No point offering draws. Queen here. Oh, has he got a magical weave? Magical weave to get onto here. Comes here, then he's got checkmate. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. That's a nice touch, isn't it? Man, they're really wanting to rinse me. How many times did I offer a draw? Maybe I'm hoping they rule the day that they didn't take the draw now, you know, when we get this pawn promoted. If I see this and this, although if I do see that, we can just put a check on this kink out with hopefully win some tempo that way I think, I'm not sure pushes push pushes, push because he's, what he's going to want to happen is, you know, if we take but we're not, we'll probably go here like this and if he gets that pawn there our king can't move to this square so he fashions a way of getting around here as well. Those are options, aren't they? But this is pawn is the one that's blocking the queen from being super active in front of the king. That's what I'm thinking anyway, but I don't know. Oh, they're killing the time. It's 15 second increments, so realistically, you can ramp that up once you've got your plan set. So I've got to be careful not to do a knee-jerk reaction thing because they've spent a lot of time over this move. Our focal point is push, 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 push. The only thing I'm seeing is... That potential, if he goes there and he drops his pawn, if his queen comes here, then he's got to check on. So that might be something that they work on. If the queen does come here, and then we push, and then the pawn pushes. And we continued pushing, he's got to check on our king. So we would have to either move the king up, I have to move the king up or capture the pawn. Right, let's just do that again. So if they move the queen first, then we could move the king. 
Or, if they move the queen first. We could push. Then they push. No. Yeah, we're not going to push, are we? This is hurting me now. Because I think that's what's going to happen. Queen's coming here. Move the king. So then if they do push, looking to get the queen here. Then we're set. So it's not a push of the pawn. Queen here. Push. King here. Hmm. Oh, he's gone to that square. He's gone to that square. He's attacking the pawn. So we've not to do a knee-jerk reaction because we know that it's... Um, if we go there, he's fought it through. He's took a long time over this. He's going here. We then don't have any further checks on them because the queen is on that line. And he's looking to come down, take, and then attack our king from the back. So if we did do that, and he went there. Now we don't need to go that far. Why are we swinging that far? If we go there, then he drops. Although we're doing that so that he doesn't go here and stuff. Then he drops. If we push the pawn, uh, it's also on the white squared pawn as well, which is closer to our king. So he's got options of attacking either one of these. So we, oh, we could come back and attack the queen, but obviously they're just going to take the pawn. Now, if they're all the way down there, we can go and put the check on the king. He goes here. We hit the king. If he goes there, we go. Ooh. Hold on, has it changed? Has it changed? Has, has the position changed? So we're not going to get any more checks on him. Check on the queen. Queen takes the pawn, put a check on the king, he goes here, put a check on the king, he goes here, we go up again, then he goes here, then we go here, something telling me he's escaping, he goes here. Oh! Just gonna have to see how it pans out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Have to see how it pans out. I don't think we'll have time to push this pawn to squish the king in there somehow. So they're going for it. And something's telling me it's looking a little bit different, does this? It's looking a bit different. Let's put a check on the king. It's gonna go here, isn't it? Is that better for us? I'm not sure. No, it's not. Okay, let's put the check like we said. This queen's definitely not got a secret hole here, has it? Nope. <clears throat> or is it going here? <clears throat> I've not fashioned any of that movement in. All I'm just thinking is I can keep the checks on. Does it look different now we're in the position? Put the check on. So it's definitely going here. If we swing here. No, nope, I'm just throwing that one in. Then the king takes the pawn. Queen comes down, puts a check on the king. He comes into this. He's not doing that. 
I don't think he's going for a draw though. I think they're trying to be clever. Hit him again. Then he's going to go here. Then he's going to come down. Well, I have to keep the checks on. I can't get his queen either, can I? Check. This time he goes there, then he comes hiding, which makes it tricky ish. Let's go here. Makes it very tricky. I don't really know. Go there, or like we said, just attack the king, maybe. I'm not too sure about that. And if the king does take, we can. Does it get suffocated? He's gone in. It's gone in. So if we did push this. No, he's got the escape square there. That's the thing, isn't it? So if we push this up, we haven't got time for that, though. We haven't got time for that in movement time. But I think he's going to change now. He's going to come here. And he's got, he's got this square. And then his queen's going to drop down going for a checkmate. But we do have this square here with the queen. So if he does go further down, he might be checkmating himself. Oh, it's a draw by repetition. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Wow.